we're going to start to work with the topography. So what I have right here is I have a house, a two-story house that I previously modeled. And uh, what we're going to do for this is we're going to create a topography that's, uh, I guess, like specific for this particular house. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, let's go ahead and group this house. So we'll type in group and we're just doing that so that it's easier to move around when we need to. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a box. Um, so this box is going to be the extent of our site. So for my house, I think 100 by 100 feet is a, is a pretty good site extent. And you can pick whatever site uh, extent you want. You can make it 200 feet by 100 feet. It's completely up to you. So this is the limits of our site, 100 feet by 100 feet. So let's copy and paste this, Control C, Control V. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a planar surface. So let's select our line. We'll type in planar surface. And now that we have this surface, um, what we wanna do is we wanna rebuild the surface uh, because we wanna start to modify the topography. And with topography, there's a lot of ways you can do this. Um, this is one of the more faster ways. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, so let's cut, let's copy and paste this again. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna select the surface. I'm gonna type in rebuild. And this dialog comes up and it tells you a point count. And what the point count means is how, how much of a grid you have. And you can imagine the larger the point count, the more points you have on that plane. So for 100 feet by 100 feet, 10 by 10 is good. So let's keep it that way. And we have 10 feet by 10 feet. Um, sorry, 100 feet by 100 feet. So now that we have this rebuilded surface, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in points on. Select objects, enter. So all of these points came up and these are just control points and what do, what happens is we can actually start to control the surface so we can move it up or down um, however we want so now that we have that uh, let's copy and paste this I'm gonna turn on points on and now we're gonna start to select points and start to move them um, however we like and I'm selecting multiple points at a time by using my left uh, command and I'm just dragging those points. And uh, just feel free to drag whatever points you seem appropriate and you want your topography to kind of work off of your building. Um, so for example, if I look at this house, um, it's okay if my topography kind of increases as long as my windows aren't covered. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to kind of modify the control points so that um, my windows aren't covered, but I still have this uh, interesting uh, land land surface. I'm just gonna modify some more surfaces over here. So this is looking uh, uh, pretty good. Uh, let's just fix a little bit more. Um, Yeah, so this is uh this is not bad for now. So let's let's keep it at this. And this is kind of a simpler topography. You can make things a little bit more drastic um, if you if you wish to do so. Um, but let's keep it like this for now. Actually, the door got covered, so let's just pull it down a little bit. Yeah, that's good. So now that we have the surface, uh, it's pretty much a completed surface. You can see that there are some hills. Um, so let's copy and paste this one more time. And now what we're gonna do is we have this line already, so we're gonna pull it down. Um, and we're just guessing probably like 10 feet is pretty good. Um, and then we're gonna create a line and we're gonna create a line to kind of close this box off. So I'm just creating lines wherever I have um, the corner of my surface and the corner of that box. Now the next thing that you wanna do is you see this box is an entire square. So we're gonna type in explode. And that's going to separate it into four different segments. So now we're going to type in planar surface and we're going to create a planar surface using these curves. Just so that the surface isn't, you know, floating in midair, that it actually has kind of like a, a box around it. Um, so it almost looks like it was cut out of a cut out of an actual site. I'm just selecting the surfaces. 
um, to create those uh, planar surfaces. And that's it, we're done. Um, so you can see that the topography is looking good. Uh, we have that closed box uh, and we need to close the bottom as well. So we can use the four point command. So we'll select each corner or you can do planar surface. There's many ways. So now we have a closed box. So let's copy and paste this real quick. So now we're gonna create our contours. Uh, now what I recommend is making a new layer. Uh, let's call it uh, our contour layer. I cannot spell. Okay. And let's make it a different color. So let's say red, for example. So let's select our surface. And now what we're going to do is now that we've selected our surface, we're going to type in contour. And contour is asking us to select your base point. So we want to contour from top to bottom, uh, just like a normal topography. So we can pick any low point. So let's pick that as our low point. And we need a high point. So we can pick any height. So let's pick like some random height. And now it tells us the distance between our contours. So let's make our distance one feet. So let's type in one feet. So those are my contour lines. And now I'm just gonna, of course it's already on this layer. So you can see that the contour lines uh, show up. And there are times where the contour lines won't translate perfectly. For example, you can see right here, there are some openings where they haven't been um, correctly closed and we can always fix that later, it's no big deal. So that's our contour lines. So now that we kind of have our surface modeled and we have um, our building and we have our contours, we're gonna use this uh, to make a site plan. So what I recommend is before we make our site plan, you wanna download Rhino's 2D symbol library. So if you go to Google and if you type in Rhino 2D symbol library, you click on the first link and Rhino has a free um, download where it gives you all of these drafting symbols so all the architectural standards for trees um, stuff like that so make sure you download that and you save it on your desktop so let's let's go to top view now so we're going to go to our top view and we're going to go in particular to this uh, particular view uh, where we have our contour lines we're going to select everything and we're going to type in make 2d let's hit ok and now it's given us uh, this 2D line drawing of our site. So now that we have this 2D line drawing of our site, um, you can see that some of the lines didn't translate correctly. Um, so we can just kind of go in and kind of fix that up as well. So we'll make sure we're on our contour lines. And just go ahead and you know start to close um, any of those missing curves. And if you want to be very, very particular, uh, you can just go back in Rhino and uh, you can kind of fix that geometry because the geometry might have been a little bit too extreme. And then you can just run it again. So there we go. We fixed those contour lines. Um, and we want to, of course, take all of these lines and we want to make sure that they're on a different layer. So once I select them, I'm going to put them on our contour layer just so that we have everything kind of organized. Um, so this is it for part one and part two, we're going to go back to the site plan and we're going to start to add roads. We're going to start to add uh, trees and maybe some uh, vegetation as well. Um, but that's it for now.